If you're looking to improve the efficiency of your boiler this summer, then here are some tips to help you do that. My first tip would be to get the boiler serviced. Get someone out that knows exactly how that boiler works. So if you have a specific brand, you want somebody who actually has a familiarity with that brand to service the boiler and make sure that it is running at its optimum. The second thing to look at is balancing your system. Now, balancing simply means that all radiators are running at the same temperature. What happens is a lot of radiators are plumbed in in what they refer to as parallel and on one side of the radiator you have your thermostatic radiator valve, you know the one with the numbers on it, but on the other side is a little tap called a lock shield and what often happens is you decide you want to paint behind the radiator so you shut down your thermostatic radiator valve, you lock down the lock shield and you take your radiator off the wall, you paint the wall and you put it back again. But you didn't count how many turns the lock shield was open. So what's happening now is the water through the system is going path of least resistance. So it's now going to heat up really hot the radiators close to the boiler, but the one in the far bedroom upstairs doesn't get any heat. So what needs to happen now is somebody comes along and measures the flow temperature across each radiator and shuts down your lock shield to push the heat to the next radiator so that you get an equal balance of heat across every radiator. You must get a qualified plumber to do the balancing because they need specialist equipment to know the temperature difference across your radiators and also um, how much the temperature needs to be. The next tip is to drop the flow temperature on your boiler, turn it down by 10 degrees. But make sure that the radiators can still operate enough to warm your room. Radiators are often designed to have a temperature difference of 50 degrees between the room temperature requirement and the flow temperature in the radiator. So if you want 20 degrees in your bedroom, the ideal would be to have the flow temperature in the radiator at 70, which is a 50 degree temperature difference. If you turn it down by 10 degrees, you've now only got 40 degree temperature difference and the radiators may no longer be big enough. My next tip would be if you're looking at changing your boiler anyway and you already have full control in your, your house for each individual room, then when you change your boiler it might be worth looking at one that has either what is referred to as weather compensation or an internal thermal efficiency that it can modulate according to the requirement in the room. In the old days we used to have what was called a hysteresis which is a bandwidth to say if I'm aiming for 20 degrees in the room I will heat the room up to 21 and then I'll wait until it cools down to 19 and then I'll heat it up to 21 again and then on average it's 20 degrees. By having an open therm or a weather compensation uh, control on the boiler you're able to actually not have such a big bandwidth and it will modulate right down when, it, when the temperature in the room gets close so it is not then um, switching on and off and short cycling so that way you get a much better efficiency. If you're looking for more information on home energy efficiency then just head to homebuilding.co.uk for the latest information.